Hello guys, this is Angel McCautry from the WNBA Las Vegas Aces. And this is for all the social workers and helping professionals. I just wanna um, share with you uh, some of my initiatives, um, definitely for the Anti-Racism Virtual Summit, focusing on advocacy. Um, so basically, you know, there were a lot of things. I always tell people that African-Americans have a story. We all have a story to tell of some kind of racial, racial injustice or some kind of mistreatment in this country. And my thing is, how do we get our um, youth to not have that story? We don't want our babies growing up and afraid, scared, having to tell that story of, yeah, I got mistreated on the job, or this, this, or because of my hair. That's over with now. And being an athlete, um, you know, we want to live on the legacies of, of Muhammad Ali and, and different athletes who fought so hard now for racial injustice and social inequality. And um, the WBA has done a great job. We've got to put um, Breonna Taylor, a name on the back of our jerseys to raise awareness because there are a lot of women who uh, have, have have gone through that um, and their their stories are not, not seen. Uh, just like uh, Breonna Taylor's wasn't until we, we all had to put it on the map. And talking with her mom, her mom said it was a very lonely process at first. She said in the paper it was just drug bust woman shot no this woman has a name she she had um a beautiful legacy that's not how it goes down you know so one thing that always stuck with me when i traveled overseas was someone once asked me why do you guys always refer to black and white aren't you all american right so it's like when when, when i visit other countries i see all shades races and sizes but they're all spanish they're all french they're all australian but in America, African American, Mexican, this, this, we're not just American, so we're already dividing ourselves in a way to classify different people. And at the end of the day, it should be just about a nation as one, a nation that's together. We're all American. But dealing with the circumstances that we have, um, it's a situation that has to stop. And a lot of people, sometimes I've had some people say, well, what's the point? The stuff keeps happening. I'll tell you what the point is. The point is you plant seeds because eventually seeds grow. There was a time when, um, you know, we weren't drinking at the same water fountain. There was a time we didn't use the same bathroom. There was a time black athletes couldn't play in America. Well, that's changed, right? So we forget that change happens. Maybe it might not be as fast as we wanted to, but it, it will change. And I always put it in this perspective, in sport terms. I've never won a WNBA championship. Am I gonna stop working hard because it hasn't changed that I want it yet? I've been in the league 11, 12 years. No, it hasn't changed. I've gone through season after season after season of hard work and I've never won a championship. But do I say to people, well, yeah, I'm not gonna work hard in basketball anymore because nothing has changed. I haven't won that championship. No. I'm working hard for the next one. I keep working hard because I believe that one day it's gonna change that I win a championship. So that's the same way that you know you, you can put it in life and, and, and fighting for what's right. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, you don't see everything right away, but you don't stop just because you feel like you haven't seen it change yet because the one day it will. Trust me, it will, and it already has, and it's gonna to continue to, no matter what anyone says, no matter what anyone tries to do, you know, because we are all made from God. Well, whatever you believe in, I don't want to offend anyone, but from that higher power. And um, any higher power, I feel like, promotes peace. And the what, last thing I have to say, I don't want to talk you guys ear off. The last thing I will say is this. Racism. How, how awful is that, right? How awful that someone is taught to hate someone for the color of their skin or for something they believe in or for being different. How boring of a world. I don't wanna live in a world where everybody's the same. Do you? So why be racist? It's uneducation. You guys have a good day. Thank you for inviting me on here. I appreciate it.